I do not know how long I've got left to live. But one of the reasons for that is because I haven't asked. And you know, and that's because I don't see the point in measuring life in terms of time anymore. I would rather measure it in terms of what I actually achieve. This is the picture of Stephen that most of you will already know. A smiling, courageous young man with his thumbs up. The gesture that became a symbol of inspiration. Stephen had been diagnosed with bowel cancer at just 15. You can't give me your time to make me live longer. But what I can try and do is to give you a bit of my motivation, you know, to go out there and achieve something, to go out there and help others to make a difference. And that's it. Sadly, in May this year, Stephen lost his valiant fight against cancer. He was 19. But his extraordinary passion to embrace life has meant his message of positivity lives on. Stephen wanted to help others enjoy life. And one way he was able to encourage hope and happiness was through the work he did with the charity Fixers, which is supported by the National Lottery. The aim of my Fixers project was to spread kindness. Um, we called the project a Good Gesture Campaign. Me and about 30 other young people went to the streets of Birmingham. We gave out free high fives, free fist bumps, free hugs. Young people often do a lot of good things that go unnoticed. I find the best way to help myself is to help others. Stephen's kindness and dedication to others captured the hearts of the nation. And so far, Stephen's raised over £4 million for charity. He was determined not to waste a minute, not to waste an hour or a day. And I can hardly think of anyone I've met with such a zest for life and such a belief that you can get things done and who wanted to live every minute. I want people to remember me as a fun, caring teenager who wanted to make a little bit of difference to the world. So when my friends and family look back, um, they can be proud of me.